Hello and happy Monday! It is... I can't tell you how many days off I've had at this point, but it's been glorious. Um, I'm actually already dreading that this week is going too quick. And today, the day really kind of got away from me. You know, I did a bunch of chores and cleaned a bunch of dishes and pretty much sat and played a lot of PlayStation. I did a lot of work for work, and but PlayStation, video editing, and uh, all that good stuff. And now it's almost 6 o'clock at night. Jesse's been away for a couple of days uh, at her friend's house. So it's been really quiet around here. Hey, one thing I did want to note. Um, there's been a bunch of comments on that video that I shot for Daniel uh, doing the monorail. And I just saw today Inside the Magic shared that video. Um, and Michael Warbucks, and I've promoted Michael Warbucks' channel before on, on uh, the, the vlog. I'll put a link to it below again. Um, he sent the Inside the Magic folks a note, and now they've uh, linked it and promoted it on their Facebook page, which is really cool. I know that um, behind the scenes, Daniel's reached out and said that he's watched the video a bunch of times. It's brought him a lot of joy. His family has watched it, um, and it's, he, he's consistently gone back because he thought it was really nice. So um, I, I think it's wonderful, all of the really great comments that folks left for him and continue to leave for him. So very much appreciated from me. I'm sure it's very much appreciated from him, so thank you so much. Um, and, you know, keep keep up the good work. Leave him comments, so I know he's getting them. He's commented back a couple of times within the videos, and uh, as Daniel K., so look for that as well. I know he commented in the, the, uh, the video and said thank you to everybody. So, really awesome stuff. That was certainly a highlight of uh, my Christmas experience this year. Oh, it's an exciting night. We've got a public sub for dinner, and we're going to watch some TV, and in a little while, I'm going to die over and over again in Call of Duty with the Orlando United guys. They've asked me to play with them tonight. I have never played the game online, so maybe we'll record some of it, because I'm sure it's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> there you go. I got one kill. My avatar. <laughs> there's there's Drew's avatar. As you can see, I just highlight report player. <laughs> I've got the mother of all guns. <laughs> well, I was just as horrible as I thought I was going to be. So thank you to the um, Orlando United guys for putting up with me. Because I died a lot. And it's been a long time since I've played a first-person shooter game on the PS4, but it will get better. So that's what we're doing on vacation time. So, by the way, this is how my brain works. So, um, earlier tonight I saw that there was another Disney site. So, I don't know if I mentioned this already in the video, so I, now I'm going to really go back. I apologize if I didn't. I saw that Inside the Magic um, had um, included a link to the Daniel Monorail video. Um, today on their Facebook page, which is super awesome. I love the Inside the Magic um, YouTube channel and the website, and I love Attractions Magazine also. Everybody are really fun guys. Um, great stuff and great coverage of local um, theme park action, right? And tonight, I saw that um, there was another website named Dr. Disney that had shared the uh, story for Daniel as well, and included all text in the background and paraphrase or include quotes. Uh, from the YouTube channel and what Daniel had responded back and everything and that was super awesome. It was really detailed. It's like, hey, this is like really a thing now and I, I know that Daniel loves all the comments and everything. So that's awesome. But I went to the Dr. Disney website and the last article that was posted before this was about um, the rise and fall of Pal Mickey, Disney's original ne next gen tech. Which just made me go back to my bedroom and up with stuffed animals. This is what I have. It's Pal Mickey. We bought this thing back in 2003 when we moved here. We had Disney annual passes for the first time. And Pal Mickey used to be able to interact with different buildings or sites. When you put them on, he could play games. When you went through the park, he was kind of like the first version of technology. Um, you know, Obviously, we didn't have like smartphones uh, to the level that we have today. Um, and this was kind of, I guess, like GPS based or so where it knew or, or Bluetooth or activated through different sites where, um, where you were at. And it made note in this Dr. Disney article 
um, to say, do you have one? If you have one, does it still work? And you know what? The next time we get to Magic Kingdom, and it probably won't be until way after New Year's, but we got to bring this pal Mickey to see if it still works. And this will be the test, so we'll all be able to experience it together. Hey, you know, we've been behind on checking the mail, or at least reading the mail, and we got two pieces of mail um, in the P.O. box on Christmas Eve when uh, we were on our way back from Universal. I checked and got stuff, so I apologize for not getting uh, the stuff out on the video sooner, but it didn't really fit in with the Christmas Eve stuff and then, you know, Christmas and everything, but um, we had a couple minutes now. I wanted to be able to go over things uh, and give it the right amount of time, so uh, we got another care package um, from uh, New York from folks that uh, would prefer not to have their names uh, on video, but we did get a nice Christmas card um, and a couple of CDs, one of which is the new New Pornographers um, CD, which I have not heard yet. Um, this came out uh, in 2014, and it's been a while since I've actually heard the New Pornographers, so I'm looking forward to be able to get this in the car. I love music, and it, let me tell you, I have such a wide variety of stuff to listen to. I don't have a set taste. You guys know that I obviously go to a lot of rock and metal and alternative um, concerts. I still, you know, I grew up listening to everything, so it doesn't matter if it's country or hip hop or anything, and um, different types of music, and it gets listened to in the car, so I appreciate anything that folks want to refer to me or send to me. So, new pornographers, I can't wait to listen to it. And more importantly, um, one thing that was mentioned in prior correspondence is um, that there was um, some gingerbread cookies coming from a bakery in New York, which is Reinwald's Bakery, and the cookies are here. And I'm not going to make a pig of myself and eat them on the camera, but rest assured I'm going to eat them as soon as we get off uh, film here. They're shaped like Santa, and they're gingerbread with chocolate coating, and they look absolutely incredible, and I've got chocolate all over my hands now, so I've just got to take a second and wipe them off, but thank you so much for sending this stuff over. This is super awesome. Um, I am gingerbreaded out. I can't wait to eat the rest of the stuff here, and I already today, had, and Mary's folding clothes over here, but I don't want to embarrass myself and say I already had like four or five gingerbread cookies from the stuff that Mary made today. Uh, she didn't make it today, she made it two days ago, but um, I ate them today, so I, I can't wait to get past like New Year's and that's it for eating this garbage stuff. But until then, I'm going to eat these two gingerbread cookies tonight, so thank you. And the second piece of mail is from Ryan, and Ryan is in Bellevue, Washington, and has sent along this card, which he made himself. It's got this awesome picture. Let's see if you can see this on here. And on the inside, there's another really beautiful picture. So I'm going to read this, and hopefully he doesn't mind me reading it. But um, Ryan says, hey guys, watching your videos has really inspired me to get out there and do some fun stuff this summer. I was having a hard time with anxiety earlier this year, and watching you guys have fun with friends helped me get off my ass and enjoy life again, which is awesome, because that's one thing that we say all the time. Uh, we have a lot of friends that, um, you know, I call them couch surfers at times that like to sit at home and there's nothing wrong with that but I like to get out and enjoy life obviously that's why you see us doing things all the time um, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and keep the awesome videos coming the pictures are ones that I took up in North Cascades uh, National Park which is uh, nearby uh, these larches turn golden orange in autumn and that's what these are so that's from Ryan these pictures are amazing. I'd love to get up to Washington. I know you sent the card also um, for where Ryan works. I'm not going to blow that up on video. i um, saying that if we make our way out there to say hello. Um, I have never been to Washington and that's one of the places that I thought I was going to get to for work uh, not that long ago but didn't get there. I'd love to get there sometime so if I ever make my way out that way without a doubt I'd, I'd shoot a note and say hello. So thank you so much for sending this stuff um, out and sending the card out. The pictures are, are gorgeous. I love being outside. And one of the things that I miss from living up in New York was actually getting over to Pennsylvania area and over in the mountains and things like that and being able to see different uh, things other than flatland and swamps and beaches. I love the beaches in Florida. Mary is laughing. I would show her to you, but she's got a giant... Uh, what did you see? 
She's got a giant pile of laundry that she's working on. So you guys, this is living the dream. So that's one of the things that we miss is getting up to the mountains and everything and, and seeing different um, skyscapes and landscapes that uh, we don't get here. So thanks for sharing. So I very much appreciate the mail if you guys want to send mail. And by the way, Ryan has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to put the link down below. Um, and one of the videos that he posted recently was around um, snowboarding which I very much would love to go snowboarding. Uh, we did that, and we're gonna really date ourselves here, <laughs> but we did that on our anniversary. Oh, not our anniversary, no, on, our, on our honey, yeah, Mary's gonna correct me. We did it on our honeymoon initially, right? We had two honeymoons. The first one that we did was um, in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. We went up in Pocono Mountain and uh, snowboarded, and I was awful at it. And this was before I had the weight that I have now. And I was skating on a regular basis. And you quickly learn that skating it does not necessarily translate to snowboarding. So I'm really awful at it. I'd love to try it again. I just know that I'm really not that good at it. So, uh, But Ryan does have a channel. And you can watch him snowboard. And you can watch him do other things as well. So we'll put a link down below. So thank you so much for the mail. <laughs> we were better at tubing. <laughs> All right, so it's been a very relaxing day for a vacation day. I'd like to say it was a very hard day, but I can't believe that it's 11.30 already. All this doing nothing took a lot of time today. But anyhow, one thing I wanted to show, we got a bunch of funny comments in uh, the unboxing videos about what my pink toy was um, behind me, and this is it. So just to give you the full view of our little pink toy thing, this is a uh, poster tube that we got at Celebration, Star Wars Celebration, um, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago now. And it is a poster tube, so like I said, you see Baymax sitting there and our pal Mickey again. The top opens up, and inside you can put your posters. And it's got a convenient little strap that can uh, put over your shoulder so that you can take your posters around to or prints or whatever to folks to have them sign when you're at conventions so it wasn't as bad as what everybody thought it was although I have to admit I laughed a lot there's a great innu innuendo there but I'm gonna put it to the side so it's not as distracting in the future it is really funny though and on that note I'm gonna go to bed so Thank you for all of the likes. Thanks for all the comments, especially on the uh, the video that we did for Daniel. That is really um, phenomenal and um, makes the effort that we put in for it um, really worthwhile. So uh, thank you overall for all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. Uh, treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow.